We are gathered here today in the presence of God, family, friends, to celebrate one of life's greatest moments and to cherish the words which well shall, shall unite Sean and Morgan in holy matrimony. Our God of loving devotion, may Sean and Morgan be filled with love for each other that reflects your love for them. Your love always trusts. May they always trust each other. Your love always hopes. May they always be filled with the hope that is found in you, Lord. In the face of challenges, you stand united. And in moments of triumph, your success is now shared. From this day on, the love you share will be transformed into a singular, unbreakable bond. Do you, Sean, take this woman to be your lawfully wedded wife, to live together in matrimony, to love her, Comfort her, honor, protect her, in sickness and health, in sorrow and joy, to have and to hold from this day forward, as long as you both shall live. Sean, as you place this ring on Morgan's finger, please repeat after me. With this ring, I thee wed. I pledge you my love now and forever. I pledge you my love now and forever. For I, I give you this ring as a symbol of my love and devotion. I give you this ring as a symbol of my love and devotion. With all that I am and all that I have. And all that I have. I promise to honor and cherish you until death do us part. I promise to honor and cherish you until death do us part. A ring is a symbol of infinity with two ends that have been joined together. These rings represent your union and they're a symbol of your infinite love. Sean and Morgan, having witnessed your marriage vows in the eyes of God and before all those who are assembled here, by the authority invested in me by the Universal Life Church, I now pronounce you for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Sean Sanders. to stand up here today for my best friend's wedding as his best man as well as his beautiful wife Morgan I always wondered if this day would ever come Sean is a very good man but sometimes a lot to deal with he has a big heart and an old soul I've known him for a good 30 years I've seen him at his best, and I've seen him at his worst, and as he has for me. I truly believe Morgan has been a blessing in his life. I like how they naturally just balance each other out. I can hang out with both of them anytime. And I also know how much John and Linda love Morgan. Just meeting Morgan's parents this weekend, I know it's a little late, but I'm just hoping you all are happy with Sean. He's a good fella. 
I can't wait to see what the future has in store for you guys. I'm pretty damn sure it's going to be all right, no matter what happens. I remember when I first met Sean on the soccer field. I tripped him. He got up and pushed me. And it was all good from there. I remember when I first met Morgan. I sat down at John and Linda's house at their kitchen table. She had like 50 different random questions for me. I felt like I had just been in a stressful job interview. I told her, enough is enough. No more questions. Let's just do whatever we do, and we'll see how it goes. After that, she really grew on me. And I realized she was a great woman for Sean. I'd like to thank God, Sean and Morgan, for bringing us here today to experience true love. Please raise your glasses for Sean and Morgan, Sanders, two of my best friends. Salute. Hi everyone, my name is Sam and I have the incredible honor of being Morgan's maid of honor. Uh, Morgan, you're absolutely radiant today and seeing you so genuinely happy is the greatest gift. I've had the pleasure of knowing Morgan for over 16 years from the first day we crossed past, navigating the maze of college life and embarking on numerous trips that would make any GPS jealous, Morgan has been my partner in crime. Our friendship has been a series of adventures like a well-scripted sitcom with its fair share of laughter, drama, and a touch of chaos. I have lost count of the times she's turned a mundane day into a celebration, cheering her friends on in every adventure, big or small, the ultimate hype girl. She is also the most caring person I know, who at a moment's notice dropped everything, rallied the troops, and flew across the U.S. to be with me in a time of need. She is forever my family and my sister. I vividly recall, the, I vividly recall Morgan's first date with Sean that kicked off this wonderful journey. In the middle of their date, I got two back-to-back -back phone calls. I missed the first one, which anyone who knows me is probably not surprised. But lo and behold, it's Morgan calling and what calling in the midst of what should have been an, an, un an uninterrupted romantic evening. But why? Because she couldn't wait to share the news. She already liked him. That's right, folks. Love waits for no date night. So to Morgan and Sean, may your journey together be filled with love, laughter, and countless beautiful memories. May you continue to support and uplift each other. So if everyone could please raise their glasses to toast to Morgan and Sean. May your love continue to grow stronger with each passing day. Cheers. Oh my gosh. Okay. When I met, first met Morgan, I was interviewing for new roles at work. I knew she was a boss from day one with all the wonderful advice that she gave me during that time. And as we quickly became great friends, as I quickly became great friends with her, I realized she was the kind of friend I never knew I needed. When we really started hanging out, excuse me, when we really started hanging out all the time was right before she met Sean and right before the pandemic. She quickly became my best friend and when I heard about the new man she had met, I could tell this was it. Sean was the person for her, her person. Morgan is supportive, innovative, and inspiring. Sean's creative, determined, and enthusiastic. Both like-minded, forward-thinking individuals, I cannot wait to see what's in store for the both of you. Sky's the limit, and I'm so happy to be here with you tonight to celebrate the beginning of a beautiful life together. Cheers. Sean and Morgan, thank you guys so much for putting this together. What an absolutely beautiful place. I mean, look at this, guys. I couldn't think of a better place to have a wedding. Uh, you know, Sean has been my best friend for about 11 years now, I came down to Texas in 2012 and I was looking for a place to live. And thank God to him and Lauren for, for selecting me uh, to move into the third bedroom. And all these years later, uh, you know, he's been my best friend. He's, he's had my back for everything. We've been into some crazy stuff and it's, it's been a lot of fun the whole time. Uh, 
Morgan, thank you so much for picking Sean, for choosing Sean. Uh, Dari and I have loved getting to know you. Uh, we've had a lot of fun too, you know, camping on the weekends and, and all of our trips. So we love you guys so much and, you know, thank you for being such great friends. When you used to come down when I was fishing, met all your friends, and a lot of them are here now. We all got to know each other. We all had a great time. You tried to get me to buy beer for you. I said no. Because <laughs> I was a bartender. I bartended. I couldn't. I would lose my license in several states. But, you know, it's just un it's incredible that we're all here together. And I love you guys. That's it. It's all I got. It's all I got. It's all I got. It's all I got. I can't say that Sean was my best friend because Morgan kept him a secret. I met Sean one time. Morgan brought him by the house. And next time he called me and asked for her hand in marriage. And I knew after one meeting what you meant to Morgan and how you've changed her life. You are the one for Morgan. And you are my son. You are part of our family. I can't, I can't wait to tell the rest of the crew about you. And you know what you promised me? You would raise your kids in fear and admonition of the Lord. So may you get pregnant quickly. We're getting old. <laughs> yeah. Or oh, is there another secret? You point. What are you pointing at? Okay. Well, all right. Welcome to the family, Sean. Everybody, raise your glass. To Morgan and Sean. Love you. As most of you know, I only had one son, and that's Sean. And he's been my world forever. He brought me Morgan. The first thing Morgan did is walk right in and say, hi, Mama. I turned around and looked at Sean. I said, when are you marrying this girl? <laughs> you know, and he laughed at me. Uh, Morgan has fit right in. I love her to death. I thank you all for giving us to her, giving, us, giving her to us. And Sean and Morgan, I wish you a lifetime of happiness. I love you both. And I love you. think to myself, you know I can't come to a gathering without saying something. <laughs> For those of you who don't know me, uh, my name's Jessica. I'm Morgan's cousin. Um, we, we are six weeks apart, so we grew up together, and um, we were, yeah, first friends, first best friends, sisters, and crazy people, um, so my... She used to, we used to live around, uh, my grandparents used to live around a pond in Alabama, and uh, my uncle lived on one side, my aunt lived on one side, and my grandparents lived on one side, and we used to run those streets, and run the pond, and give our grandparents a heart attack, figuratively, and probably literally too, and uh, I just, we, we grew up together, Morgan has a way of just bringing people together, bringing out the best in people, and bringing people to life. Like, she, she is the center of the party. She is the energy bringer. And when she first met Sean and they started dating, and I, I met Sean, and I feel his energy, too, that he's calming, and they just balancing, balance each other out um, so well. And... Um, I wish you guys a lifetime of happiness, and welcome to our cr crazy family. <laughs> and I love you both so much. Go. Excellent.
Let me hear you claps. Come on. Texas sun. 